As Neville sat alone on the sofa, he was worried. He thought that his girlfriend might be about to leave him. He thought this because while he was at work today, she had moved out all of her things, apart from one box labeled the last of Sophie's things. Knowing that she could be here to collect the box at any moment, Neville thought of as many reasons for her to stay as he could. He thought of four. Don't make this harder than it needs to be. I'm just here to pick up the last of my things. So you are leaving then? Yes. You don't have to go, do you? I mean, you could just stay and, and we could talk about it and... I've got to go. I have reasons. What kind of reasons? As Neville went to tell Sophie his four reasons, no words came out. This is embarrassing. I'll see you later, Neville. Every time Neville went to speak, nothing happened. It seemed that along with his girlfriend, his voice had left him too. After seeing the doctor about his hurty heart and his voiceless voice, he had been prescribed some lozenges and a soothing audio tape. Yes, everything might just work out fine. But, oh dear. What a horrible coincidence. There goes a smiley Sophie, hand in hand with Neville's arch nemesis, Martin. Neville, what are you doing here? Are we together? Yes. While well, we were together? Yes. Mate, it's nothing personal. It's just that she finds me more interesting as a person. The more Martin you. spoke, no, the feelings. angrier Neville became. Like His hands person. clenched he into little balls. Ideal for punching. Yeah, as balls. Neville went to yeah. swing for he Martin's greasy to. face, no, he missed. And with great shock, he suddenly found that he couldn't see anything. Neville found himself confined to a large square building called a hospital. Surrounded by the diseased and the dying, he decided to listen to the audio tape. The tape spoke of how life was simply what people made of it, how it was all up to him. If he was happy or if he was sad, he had the power within him to attract the positive energy to his life. If he wanted to get better, all he had to do was say, I want to get better, but he didn't.